Back in April 1963, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. sat in jail in Birmingham, Alabama, and considered how crucial it was for every person, regardless of race, ethnicity, or identity, to participate fully in American society, excluding entire groups of people by giving them fewer by giving them fewer rights or unequal treatment or ignoring them entirely could only weaken a nation. He believed injustice anywhere is a threat to injustice everywhere. He wrote in his famous letter to Alabama ministers stating that we are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects us all indirectly. Never again can we afford to live with a narrow provincial outside idea. Anyone who lives inside the United States can never be considered as an outsider anywhere within its bound. King's beliefs inspired a multitude of ethnic and identity groups then and in future generations to step out and step up. With his example, the country would not be the same again. Martin Luther King, widely recognized as being the most important and charismatic U.S. civil rights leader of the 20th century. He led many of the major civil rights actions of the 1950s and 1960s, including the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott, the 1963 desegregation actions in Birmingham, and the 1963 March on Washington. The civil rights movement led by Reverend King is significant as it was a successful organization of the oppressed African-American community. Legal segregation was ended and economic positions of black Americans was, margly, was marginally improved. It signifies the importance of one's civil and constitutional rights. Dr. King's efforts have impacted the millennium activism in several areas of civil rights reform. These areas include LGBTQ issues, immigration reforms, and the systemic killing of unarmed men of color. These struggles people face today are not so different from the past. Most minorities still face economic, political, and social injustice. Nevertheless, the fire to advocate for those mistreated continue to burn, and it is only kept alight, ignited through the Black Lives Matter movement. The public outcry following the shooting of George Floyd in Minnesota and Ahmed Aubrey in Georgia, Sean Reed in Indiana, Breonna Taylor in Kentucky, and Rashad Brooks in Georgia, has given the Black Lives Matter movement new urgency and uh, more relevancy in Dr. King's ideology. The way I see it, this place is still very, root very much rooted in racism. And the only way we can start to see that change and get is to get rid of that vicious cycle and to just try to uproot it from the system. We can get people to wake up, get people to talk about it, have those difficult, difficult conversations. And that part is what, what a, pro a protest will do. As we observe MLK Day in the midst of our present climate of hate, we are inevitably asked to consider how far have we come in realizing the visions of justice and equality that King articulated half a century ago? Through King has been memorialized in though King has memor has been memorialized in many places around the country and around the world, how we represent his legacy remains contested and points to divisions of our thinking about what it actually means to promote racial justice. I think we as a society, particularly those in faith, we have to pray for change. We have to work for change and we have to be the change. For love is not yet, has not yet won and the battle is not yet over. We must uphold Dr. King's vision for America.